glistening too? Am I glistening? Well, You're my glistening. tangles aren't glistening, but they're not ashy. So. And I have a shopping by season because I still am in transformation. I'm shopping by season, so I bought this dress today. Yes, very nice dress. From Eye Candy, and because it was my first purchase, she gave me a free cup today. Oh, that's dope. It's that's really, nice. really cute. It's Eye Candy in Stoughton on 26 Wyman Street. I am going to shout out the owner, Stephanie. Shout out to you, Steph. She's also a realtor. Okay. Um, so if you're looking for a house, look her up. And I think that's how we're gonna start the show today, y'all. Yeah! Yay! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo. Hello. Welcome to Pentagasms, guys! Woo -hoo -hoo. And I, Woo -hoo. I am your host, Panda! <laughs> Who else is here? And we have our lovely co-host, Big Cat. Whoa, oh, you whoa, know, whoa. you know. What up? We have our lovely team of team. Who got the keys to the bima? Not me yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Not it's yet. coming. It's, it's coming. coming. Yeah, absolutely coming. Bima is for us all in all shades of colors and sizes. <laughs> I think your I price want, ranges, I want area codes. We can have different ones too, but I'm just gonna Bima's start Bima's the starter. Right, that's the starter. The starter car. And then we have our lovely okay. King Al. What up, what up, what up? Um, What's poppin' everybody? Do, 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 do. I mean, why are we all excited about being out? Because why not? We're always going to be excited about everyone for everything. He's been missing for like, how long? Uh, Let's talk about it. We've no, been hiding. Uh, just doing my own thing, you know. Where in the um, world has King Albin? Why are we on the same <laughs> beat? Freaking San Diego. I love it. Maybe because it's the makes place tonight is Scorpio. And then, and then let's talk about it because he wouldn't be here and then she wouldn't be here and it's like so the fuck is going on with the crew i wasn't here for a reason okay and he wasn't here for a reason the bullshit the bullshit but yeah you're here we're all here together and of course the lovely av guy honey uh, yeah. uh, You know, loyal, trustworthy, so heart. Cause this, you know what I'm saying? Orgasm. You know what I'm saying? He don't. He makes sure he's there every time. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Yo, listen, I put in for uh, FMLA. That's all I was saying. Oh, oh okay, I'm sure. I didn't. Okay, well, see, it went to. Okay, so it would go to Panda. It would go to me. I wouldn't know because I don't need to. <laughs> So, I guess that makes hierarchy sense. and HR. Don't, don't, don't. No, no, no. I don't like that word, man. Oh, okay, so I'm let's... just as important. You are. Was that? I was just about to say, that a trigger? <laughs> All right, give me a better word to use. Do you have a suggestion for me? Nah, you just the boss. I mean, I'm okay with boss. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You're the boss. I mean, it is what right, it is. All right, all right, all right. So let's get to some serious news. Next time, just let me know. You know, you're supposed to have your out of office email and all that. I'm just oh, saying. Yeah, right. Disrespectful. Per my last email. <laughs> that passive aggressive shit. <gasps> no. I hate that. <laughs> All caps. <laughs> Let's um give a sleep in peace, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. There has a lot of things going on around his passing. I feel neither here nor there about it because he never did anything towards me. I feel like the guy was just doing his job. I know a lot of people have their opinions about it. However, the only thing I want to comment on is the sermon that the pastor did for him mm. was crazy. Now, wait, 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 wait. It wasn't for him, I, I, and it question. wasn't during his funeral. Okay, okay, okay. It was just a sermon, and he right. made it about him. Okay, right, okay, right, okay. right. Okay. That part. Okay. Yes, okay. that part. Yes, because we don't want to get in trouble. I was going to say the Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk about, go ahead, get into it. So the next one, I want to talk to him. So we'll pull up with what, what did Pastor Jamal Bryant, and this is the yes, pastor. husband of Giselle Bryant. <laughs> Pastor that has like a 17 year old or a 19 year old pregnant right now. What? Excuse me? Yeah. Let me make sure you know your facts. You talk about a pastor now. He's a whole PK now. 
Now you better. Right. Right. This one, you know this one gonna. His wife already done put out to the world that he's a listen, whore. Listen, so, listen. I mean, here, while 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 Panda finds what she's finding, I'm gonna say what I feel about the whole situation. My thoughts is good riddance. Okay. Um, oh, that's so fucked up. I mean, I don't feel no type of way. You didn't do anything. I mean, my thing is, like, I'm not going to celebrate and dance and throw a party. But it's also, like, I'm not really going to miss you. And I saw a remark where someone was like, yo, it's, it's crazy that he's getting more hate than R. Kelly would get. I'm sorry. Hold on. Pause. R. Kelly actually contributed something to the black community, minus him having fucking with us literally and figuratively but he contributed music and something that actually brought life to our community this man did nothing but try to tear us the fuck down so there is a difference and i can see why people would celebrate him even after death r kelly meaning over kevin samuels so that's my thought on that too my thing is i mean i feel bad for his family of course they're, they're gonna miss they're mourning. yeah they're mourning i i get that but at the same time don't as a family, don't act like you don't know the shit that your son was spewing. Just like the kid who died, who the white girl killed, and, and, and the family's like, but please support him. And this is like, no, you seen that shit he was talking about black women. We ain't coming to rally. What we rallying for? We ain't always rallying no more. We don't woke up. So let me ask you a question, right? So if someone is doing something and you support them, like, yo, I fucks with that, ooh, ooh. And then later on in life, you find out whatever it was, the real meaning of it, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So are you still gonna fuck with that person? Especially if it's something that's like, whoa, that's what you really was talking about? Nah, I can't get behind that. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, no, that's the same thing with R. Kelly. We know, we don't get behind that. But I can, like I said, I can understand why people would celebrate him even in death in comparison to Kevin Samuels. That's all I was saying. Mm-hmm. I can but see like, why people can see, would celebrate him. Well, how would you celebrate him, though? I there mean, are R. Kelly, Kelly fans who will die till this day talking about R. Kelly is the man. That's what yeah, I mean. I'm there, there's no Kevin... <laughs> Kevin Samuel diehard fans, clearly. There are a lot of men that might have agreed and followed him, but they're not diehard fans where they're standing up right now doing some crazy... No, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a different thing. You, It's a whole different feel between him and R. Kelly. So Yo, I don't know that they made that comparison. But then also, wasn't he, like, speaking to men, like, that was specifically on men so, until women started calling him up and then, like, pretty that. much antagonizing him? I mean, one would say not in Antagonized, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this is a show for men. Right? Why are you calling in? And Why you're calling are you calling in? You're asking platform. for an opinion on women, and then now you're like, you're finding a reason to be like, oh, well, you're like, that's what I know. Now, too. now, Just here's my thing. Here's my thing. That. Here's my thing. If he wasn't so berating with every single black woman that came on the show, regardless of what she looked like, then people wouldn't feel the way that they feel. But that, those were all his personal Wait, opinions. Question, question. Did you ever listen to when he spoke to these people? Yeah, to some of them, I did. Some of them deserved what they got. Some of them did look ghetto and they deserved it. I, Not even, they, they, I don't they even know what bonus or whatever and said the ghettoness or said they requirements was up here and they clearly didn't have nothing no, to offer. No I get that, but so here's my thing though. Why they called in looking for validation from a man who was a coach for men. Mm-hmm. I think that's where they fucked up mm-hmm. to start. Oh, I agree. If you are oh, already 100%. confident in who you are as a person, as an individual, you don't need to call into another person. I agree. Or a coach to tell you yay or nay. So one, I feel like that's where these people who felt away fucked up started at. Started to start. Why did you even mm-hmm. look to this mm-hmm. person anyway? He's not for you. Mm-hmm. Secondly, right. this is his job. Thirdly, it was an opinion. As a black man, I should have been listening to the penny black, gasm show. As a black man coming from a black woman, Bye. you should have been able to to handle those situations in a different way. You could have said some of the things you said and not the way that you said it. That's all I'm saying. So I feel the like... Delivery is a big thing. It is a big thing. Especially however, when you're coming at your own kind. Like, however, in the same, same breath... That breath that shit, I swear. We're not. However, in the same breath, they... When you watch those interviews... I would have got irritated and annoyed too. You don't reach out to me for my counseling, for my help, and you don't even got your questions and your answers together. Facts. But you're coming to me. Facts. So you expect me to stay calm and yes. and, and what do you mean? Yes. Yes. No, no, no. Yes. You be a professional. I'm, no, a pro- I am being a, be a professional. professional. I am professional. A professional what? Be a professional. I am a professional no, opinion I am, I am being a professional be a opinion professional. giver. Really? My degrees is no. yes. 
no, 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 none. It's I am being okay. that licensed professional no. giver on no. YouTube or whatever platform no. I had no. that you reached out no. to me at no. and I'm supposed to be respectable no. to you? No. Absolutely yes. not. That's like somebody pulling up to your house like, oh, what's up? And then you're going to be nice? Yes. No. They yes. pull up to you. Yes. You can be however you choose. You know she's playing devil's advocate right now. You know she's being devil's advocate right now, but that's how I feel about no, it. No, I agree. I'm it just, shouldn't even have went on the show. You know, it gets, to a, point, it. It gets to a point where you see what's happening, <laughs> so why do you continue to subject yourself to it? Because everybody wants to go viral. They, do. they get upset when he ripped you get apart. Upset when, when he ripped he you, you apart. Yep. So, again, yep. a good that's what you get. It's of kind of what people you get. deserved the reading. However, got. however, I'm not saying celebrate it, but right. I also just don't miss him. I, I mean, at the end of the day, he wasn't not, a person to me like... He's not like a like like he's not like a Jamel Hill or a Carrie Champion. I'm talking about people that are like podcasty or you know do their shows and stuff. Like I would miss them if something happened to them. You know what I mean? I would miss like a Kevin Hart. I would miss like you know certain people. You would miss. He's not one. I'm just like yeah, for you. I get that. Yeah, no. I just don't like people are going so deep in extras. Mm-hmm. I just think it's too much. Oh, but I did find the clip from yes. Yes. exactly. You got it. Yeah, we were talking about him okay. last summer. It's the right. Every time we're talking about this just being just off. You have no authority. Oh, Jesus. Straight. Let me get this straight. Yes. So Yo, he shouldn't talk. Like, Who is he? He, is he? he shouldn't. Fuck. He shouldn't say something about someone not living a life that they portray to live because he's not living a life that he portrays to live. It's like almost yes. Yo, you're being a hypocrite. You're being a hypocrite. So, but do you support Kevin Samuels? I don't know Kevin Samuels right. to support right. or not to support. So for you, it's two wrongs don't make it right. Right. Okay. So it's like, it's just, yeah. Yeah. for me, a pastor. Yeah. For me, yeah. I feel like you just like hop on the wave, yeah. yeah. like yeah. get on the wave and say something that like you know most people will connect with. And you know, like, but is he wrong? Viral. Is he wrong though? I don't know because I don't know Kevin Samuels. Right. So, and it's a GoFundMe. I don't real? know about the GoFundMe thing, so yeah. I can't comment on that. Whether that's yeah. true or not, I don't know. Yeah. These are rumors. You know what I mean? Like, do you know what rumors can do to a person's life? I don't. <laughs> Nothing to him. Right, well, he's gone now, but this is I read you would expect from a person who's supposed to be a messenger of talk about right. it. I read a comment where the person was like, um, you're supposed to be saving, about saving lives. Why are you focused on what's viral right now? Like, focus on the Bible, open that up. What is he doing that? on the social media like, anyway? Why isn't he reading Proverbs about a man that finds a wife or Joe, something? I like Joe. Or, or carrying Joe somewhere. I don't know. There's so many other things he could have been talking about besides. <laughs> I don't know. Matthew, who I don't know. Matthew, Matthew Mark, Luke, or John. <laughs> So, I mean, so is there something wrong with people criticizing Kevin Samuels now that he's dead? I feel like once a person passes and they don't have a way to defend themselves, yes. Like, they're not here to speak up for themselves. They yeah. can't fight for themselves. Nothing. Yeah. So now you're just going back and forth with Leave other opinions legacy. again. But I feel like someone like Kevin Samuels, Samuels would say, well... He's enjoying this. You, you, you live... You're still talking about me. No. <laughs> 
somebody came to him, like say if he was in heaven, right? If somebody came to him and, or whatever, right? And, I don't know. I don't, I'm not judging him. Somebody came to him and said, yo, Kevin, I, I don't know what's going on. Nobody in heaven wants to fuck with me because everybody on earth is talking shit about me. And someone like him, as honest as he was or claims to be, he'd be like, well, what kind of life did you live? <laughs> Right? Did you get, are you a are you a high value angel? Right? right? Are you a high value? Yeah. Preferred? So Does honestly, yo, know, I'm gonna be honest with you, Kevin Samuels. I have nothing. I don't know anything about him other than the people that I know that support him and like not even support him, but like quoted him a lot. Like I'm not calling them weak men because a lot of them are people that I fuck with. But I think I highlighted a lot of weakness in men. Yeah. I think Kevin Samuels is kind of the he was the epitome of narcissistic low self-esteem that I think that a lot of my people suffer from and okay, to be honest with it. you and when you say my people hold on and a lot of that comes from mommy issues I don't know where it even came more, from that comes from, from a whole more. bunch of shit I don't, know. I don't know I don't know him I know his mommy, yeah. mommy he could be a mommy's boy right like I don't know it's just that like it's hard I'm gonna say this only because uh, Panda on the Pandagasm's Instagram there was a post about a woman who had a demand about what she wanted from men. Right. And it was like she, uh, some a man that makes $100,000 a year is it good enough for her. It's so hold on. Her. But you know what, what though? She said. But you know what though? She didn't degrade anyone that made less than that. Saying? She just had her standards. You see what I'm saying? And you know what? There are men out there now, that are looking at her, her interview and they're like, okay, that's it. Mm. Pause, pause. Mm. Just you see how they're your pay range. This yeah. is all I'm saying. Kevin Samuels could have said what he said without degrading. That's all I'm okay. saying yeah. with when it came to yeah. He could have easily said, well, I feel personally that you only have this and you're looking for that and it doesn't add up. You didn't have to say, well, look at you. You don't got this and look at you. You look like that and you look like the typical yeah, baby mama. Side, and this and that and this and that and this and that. And, and, that, and, this and, and that. never be fulfilled in her relationship. Thank you. No, but, that, but, but, they, but she's talking about a minimum. Yeah, she's right. talking about something. I just Listen, that's there's a lot of people in this very city we live in, it ain't me. That can't even make that. That can't make, make that, that, that can't make that. But there's a couple people that are making that a month. Right, but right. they're making a hundred thousand dollars a month. Right, but it doesn't necessarily. I feel like doesn't necessarily. Who making like that a month? You know, friends they married. Y'all ready to hear the interview? Look, they got a daddy because I'm right. not at that sugar age. The uncle. Hey, would you be with a guy that makes a hundred thousand a year? No. For no, what? No. That's, that's, that's two hundred and seventy-four dollars a day. Okay, so dinner for two, and if we add alcohol, it's gonna be a three hundred dollar check. So you want me to spend that whole man's day like no? Men that. I just think no, that thought process. Let's be real. I just think that thought process is just extra. Cause like, like y'all going out on dates every, every day, 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 that to be spending that man's three hundred dollars every single That's day. That's a like, so so wait, I'm sorry. sorry. You no longer eat chicken nuggets. Like let's no 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 let's just be that real. Was, you like I'm just sorry like I just I can't with this and then she didn't even look okay I'm gonna be on my Kevin Samuels she didn't even look like a high quality woman to be talking that shit she didn't even look like a high quality woman that made 100k her damn self she looked like one of them though she looked like one of them that looks like she deserved that she thinks she deserves that who you think she's talking about she's talking she's probably a sugar baby yeah yeah She's probably used to that lifestyle, yeah. so anything less than that is like I don't want it. She's yeah. already like, accustomed to that. Bro, I see that. See I personally see that. Oh, As a grown woman, what, where, what, what kind of chicken nuggets are you eating? Oh, I like Wendy's nuggets, oh. and I like I McDonald's to. nuggets once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's in the blue? I'm and I like McDonald's this salty fries. fries. McDonald's salt. I like this salty ass fries sometime, and and like Wendy's. Yeah, once in a blue. I'm in that fucking drive through if the line ain't fucking long out to the fucking death of me. It's always long, so once in the blue, depending on the time, you can catch that line. Like I'll drive by and be like, oh, that line's too so long. So you'll hop the line if you see the opportunity. Yeah, like, yeah. You don't even be in the mood for yeah. it. Biggie bag. Right now. I haven't been to one. It's a biggie bag. So it's basically no, a, I'm about to 
to Wendy's though because so right, right, every right, time right, I right, go right. before we come back, it's a it's a double cheeseburger mm-hmm. with um nuggets. Well, you have fries, all you get burger or chicken burger. Right, chicken burger. Uh, four piece. And fries and, and a drink. drink. And a drink, yeah. But how much? $5 and like $30. Look at her. Yo, she's like, I'm about to ride. She's going. She's going after the show. She's like, right the line right me. now is Friday. All the way to Friday. 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 So, so that's what you want to do tonight? Oh, okay. No, no that's so, a snack. So, um, <laughs> listen, that's a midnight snack when she wakes up in the morning at like 2. Like no, they're going to be closed. I'm about to sue them though because why are they acting like McDonald's, like their frosting machine got to stay broke, right? Right? Okay. And then they ran this little advertisement where if you buy your little frosty things, I got it on my keys, you get a free frosty every time you go through Wendy's in oh, 2022. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah. yeah, but now all of a sudden your machine's always broke. Based on this conversation, I'm your machine's sure, always broke. Based on what y'all saying right now, I'm pretty sure y'all are straight with someone making a hundred thousand dollars. So for me, I <laughs> my listen, thing, no, no, listen, see, so I could me, meet you making a hundred thousand dollars, but the sky is the fucking limit, and I'm never gonna stop grinding. So if you're on the same page that I'm on, like yo, listen, we can always do bigger thank you. and better, then why not? But I'm not, you're not, not taking care of you're not taking care of you don't of, make it. You're not taking care of a sugar baby making a hundred thousand dollars. Well, I'm not like, a sugar baby. So you struggle that problem. Let me tell you something. You don't <laughs> have to make hundred yeah, k. Can you not can even you on the radar? What you need to do for your end. And can I afford to do what I need to do on my end? Right. And can we still afford to travel? We're good. We can still save? We're good. You don't right. have to make 100K. If you know how to manage your money, you're good. It should be easier to travel. Like, come on. It is. It's a you know what I'm saying? You're already like, traveling and taking care of your shit. And they're you. already traveling and taking care and of your shit. And then you just come together. come together. It don't matter. If you both make a 70K, you're still balling together as a couple because you're doing what you need to do. Like, I don't understand that whole thought process. <laughs> That's somebody lazy who don't want to do their part. If someone, if people listen to, if it don't make money, it don't make sense. Talk about COVID, it. When we yeah. told people how to invest. Thank and you. And we told people how to save money. Mm-hmm. We had a really good panel that show. And that's what made me get my shit together. Because I was like, yo, I'm really fucking slacking. Shout out to her. For Not slacking. Too. You just could have been doing Who's more. I could have been doing more. She wasn't slacking. You wasn't behind. There were a lot of areas where I could have improved. And because of the people on that panel, I took a little bit from each and individual you know, and I applied it to where I saw fit for me mm-hmm. as a person. Mm-hmm. Right. And I felt like I was like, this is so much information that mm-hmm. we could all use yeah. as individuals in different areas of our life. And it was just, what was the title of the episode? If it don't make money, it don't, it don't make sense. sense. And that find show it. was Please. just about Y'all money, go find making it. money. That was it. And Financial literacy, financial education is so is important. Like, it's amazing. We had a guest on the show, Greg. Shout out to Greg again. And Greg? all he said was, I put aside $5 a week mm-hmm. and just go from one bill to the next. And eventually that accumulates. And whatever was yeah. on your credit or whatever bills you had, it's called the snowball effect. It really works. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Financial literacy is amazing. And because a lot of us don't have that, that's why it looks like we can't. Or they don't. You got to just, listen, don't fight it. It's okay. Just open your mind and just let it happen. Like, a lot of people will just, instead of just, you know, it's like, I don't want to learn that. Don't fight it. because Pause. (laughs) Open up. Let it happen. Let it happen. Relax. Open. Just relax. Oh, your muscles. You know, let me get in and tell you how to work that money, baby. Budget. It's worth it, though. It is. Because when you see your bank account start to grow and you be like, oh, shit, I can afford that trip. If your birthday ain't around Christmas or New Year's, then you'll be like, then you'll be like, yo, this was all worth it. This was, I say that because why flights is the same price as fucking Airbnbs around my birthday. Ah! It makes me so upset every year. It makes me so upset every year. It makes me so, I'm trying to explain to y'all how upset I get every year. Cause it's We're like, just trying so to let out the frustration before you get, get yeah. so upset. You guys heard about However, however, pause. For what? my, cause this is 38, for my 40th, I don't give a fuck how much it costs. You 38? I will be 38 this year. You will be shit. Well, I'm take, no, I'm smart. Oh shit. I don't say that to a woman. I don't want to say nice things to big cats. That is the nicest thing you can say to a woman. I look 28. I know. What? Give a little cleavage, you know. Um, Tell me. No, I wanted to know how you guys felt about the gunner guy. 
and the other rapper guy. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even hear about that until. Young, I don't know too it's much Gunna about that. It's Gunna and what's the other one's name? Young Thug. Young Thug. Young Thug. And YSL. So Young Thug. Oh. And YSL too. That's their group. He lost his children's mom at the bowling alley. Yes. 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 He took well. murder at the bowling alley. Yeah. Right. She and got now murdered. he's in jail. He's in jail now too. So yep. now we have And they children. denied his bond. With no parents. I want to adopt them. My dad's more like children. Stop it. Okay. I feel so, I mean, the kids clearly, financially. clearly, I feel bad for the kids. I feel bad for the family. I always feel bad for the kids. Because now they don't, this mom and dad's not like that. That's terrible. And you know um, how I feel about that. How are the kids? You need to be there. That's a good question. I'm not sure about the age of the children. I think his I oldest is like 14 or something like that. Yeah, how, many many that there? how many? So he has, a, I think he has like. A few Five. kids with a couple baby moms. And then, and this is saying, his first. That was his first baby mom rappers, and his first couple So kids. their parents are on the media everywhere. Yeah. Their children are going to be yeah. exposed to this. Kids are so hands on to media. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's right here. They, it's not like they're not going to know mm-hmm. this is happening to their parents. They're not. It's not like they're going to miss it. Mm-hmm. And kids nowadays are, are terrible. So you know they're bringing all this shit up. Like, ah, right. your dad's in jail. No oh, your dad's There's not getting out of jail. You're ghetto. That's what and it's but like how do you know that the kids are not like a product of their parents, and that's the problem. What? No, let's not. I'm not a product of my dad. I'm not, not out in these streets they whoring are around they and have exception. kids all out in these streets yes. trying to front like I'm a pastor, right? Knowing I'm whoring, splitting my seed everywhere. I'm just saying. You know, I went the other way. Thank Crazy. God, praise God. So yes, that's there crazy. are there are always. <laughs> Well, exceptions listen. to the rule but we mean like happy at 55 that, yeah, but that's like, not you know how people say like that he was out here behavior. it is not like behavior. Certain so things you have to remember him, but so if they've been growing up with their kids only for like so much that parents could do society raises kids thank you society it's them friends in the environment so it's not, really it's not just the parents, parents. I it's really not. Put all you really can't blame parents. just the parents because these kids veer off to their friends in school because and everything Because not even else. that. Think of you as yourself. I'm pretty sure you're disappointed to your parents. Right. I'm pretty sure yeah. we're not living the life our parents thought we right. would be living no. right now. I'm not um, saying it's just the parents. I don't but... think that they even had an idea because they didn't do shit. Oh, yeah. Well, but what... what... What I'm saying so is, is right, like, you got society yo. raising the kids, right? And it's supposed to be your parents' facts. jobs to keep you on track exactly. outside of society. Exactly. Right? But if the parents are doing the same shit as society is or doing... Or they're not they're even like, investing in their yeah. kids so to my, even pay attention. Then. That too. My question to Panda is, what do you think... Like, Young Thug and Gunner. 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 Young Thug. Young Thug Young and Gunner. Thug, thug, thug. Um, so they weren't like making mixtapes like and telling yeah. people to go to the SoundCloud, right? Like Gunna was just on SNL, Saturday Night Live, performing like a couple of weeks ago. Young Thugs making like millions of dollars. Like they have number one albums and singles and all types of stuff, yeah. right? Like they're making money, like yeah. legit millionaires, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Why the fuck are they still doing street shit? That's what I hate too. And if that was the case, if they cared so much about their kids... Why the fuck would they put all that at risk when they have something to lose? So I think that was stuff from the past with when they mm. weren't so big. I'm not sure of how. And it does sound like that might be down. the case. I do believe mm. it is something from their past that came up, just like Rihanna's husband, ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky. Mm. I think it's something from their past that mm. came up recently, and now they're being yeah, charged. Yeah, they got in trouble for yeah. some old too. So. It may be that, yeah. They but if it is something jail. current and recent, you make a very valid point. Yeah. Because yeah. every right. single right. day, right. when I feel like people might be trying me, I think yeah. about my business yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and what I have mm-hmm. to lose. Yeah. And a lot of times, people are like, "Oh, you're so calm. I could never. I could never. You're right. You could never. Sure, yeah. because you don't know what I have to lose. Yeah. So you're right. You could never mm-hmm. be as calm mm-hmm. as I am because you don't know mm-hmm. what I'm up against. Mm-hmm. You don't know if I make this wrong choice." All the stuff that I have underneath me as an umbrella that I may possibly lose. You have no idea. So you're right. You could never. It just, <laughs> so I'm like, well, I mean, I'm making choices for you. <laughs> but I definitely do Yo, have people that I like to make I need to go to sleep. That like to make wrong We need to end it. We need to end it. I want you to end it. Show. Come on. We shout out everyone. We shout out people that respect boundaries. Yes. We shout out. We shout out. Oh, yeah. 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 O
all day. We are shouting out mental health awareness. Mm -hmm. yeah. Knowing your shit, owning your shit, yes. knowing your triggers, yes. not being triggered by people seeking saying therapy. You have it's children. okay. It's okay to seek therapy. It is okay, guys. It is okay. Trust me. We shout, okay. shouting out eye candy. I Candy Boutique. Shout out to you for getting me this pretty dress today. <laughs> Shout out to 80, my kidney 80, twin. Degree. My kidney twin? twin, yeah. Who's your kidney twin? My sister. I gave yes, you sister. My yes. sister. Yes. Shout out to my sister. sister. That is yeah. so beautiful. You didn't know. I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. So that'll be another show for another day. But mm -hmm. yes, we need to get her on the show. We did earlier, like in the beginning. We, we did. We'll get her back. You guys are forever connected yeah. now. You guys are, are forever connected. Are. And you can hold that over her head. Forever. 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 You can get mad at me. are alive because of me. Look at what you didn't think about that. I mean, come on. Yes, yes. So shout out to all entrepreneurs. Anybody who made their hobby into a full time job, career. Yo, shout out to you. Side because, hustles. Yes, these side hustles that no are full time. Look, I know the struggle. I see you. I hear you. I feel you. I see you. Car wash. The detailing. conversations that I have with entrepreneurs that are trying to like take that to the next level. I see y'all. I hear y'all. I feel y'all. You have no idea. Whew. And with that, peace, love, and light. Shout out to everybody that's in tune with us. That watches us, tell a friend to tell a friend, subscribe mm, on mm, iHeart. Mm, Maybe on all the mm, platforms. Mm, Just tell people. Mm, tell us out. Mm, Pandora, YouTube, Spotify, all of them. Oh, Shout out to oh, oh. <laughs>